Alright, so here's the latest on this dead man project. I think I said in a previous video, I'm gonna go on ahead and probably weld a hinge right here. Make up a box or something I can go up underneath there. Oops, sorry. The screen rotates on you. Gotta figure out if I need the white brake lights or just the amber. I don't know uh, what's required on this. That's not my tag, so I don't know who that is. I do have the red light on the back. Let's see here. I guess do not hire when they put that on there. It has something to do with whether it needs to be weighed or not. If I'm used for personal business, uh, I don't need to weigh that. If I do use it for personal business, uh, or I mean actual business, then I do need to weigh it. If it's going to be over so much weight, it's kind of a mess on the inside. We'll take a look in there. I got my new windshield put in, finally. And I don't know, uh, the local guy that did it, he did something weird with uh, the rubber up top there. Anyways, uh, he fought trying to get it in. You can see how it's kind of... Focus. I'm lazy. Anyways, I'll probably wait till it warms up. Try to talk to them, see if they'll do something else with it. I have a few wheels I need to replace. I got the back side, if they're all done. Got a little good tread on those. I'm wearing rubber glasses, I just got to do the brake job. I'm gonna, you'll see that on a different video I have. Excuse me here. Let's get around. Anyways, I'm in the middle of, I gotta replace the plugs and the, the wires. I already did the plugs on this side. I need to do them on that side. It's a little bit tighter fit. And it's 20 degrees out. I just don't feel like messing with it right now. But uh, I need to figure out all these lights that are up inside here underneath these panels. Uh, I got the corner there, the middle one, and up in here. This is on the outside I'm talking about. And one in that corner. Somehow they got broke off. I had to have this vehicle towed home, and I think that's. Maybe when he went underneath some trees, it swiped them right off or something because uh, they're all broke. Back inside here, I still got a mess. I haven't done anything. Yeah, as you can tell, I, it's all just stuff, uh, tools and parts uh, I've got ready to go just to go on ahead and uh, I need to get everything set up. I'm going to tear all this shelving out. Uh, there's water leaking, which is a steel body. It's not the aluminum. Uh, would have been cool if it was aluminum, but I, that's fine. I can weld steel. I can weld aluminum too. But anyways, I'm going to have to take all this ceiling off and the walls out and figure out where the water's coming from. And I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Let me step out of here. Yeah. You know, that's the inside. I need to get another seat. Now I like that seat, but I need to hook up uh, some kind of seat belt or something. I need a, a little flip jump seat right here. And uh, that water's coming in. I can guarantee you it's right there. The rust. I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm going to use some Pour 15. I'm going to get rid of all the rust, kill the rust, uh, do what I can do to make the metal good. Use that Pour 15 and really push it down inside the, the crease. It's all the way along there. You can see there's a crack. It's not a crack, but uh, it's a seam all the way along with all that rust. Anyways, I think I can kill the rust. I can convert it with a rust converter and then I can go on ahead and uh, do some pour 15, seal it up, and I'll get some of that uh, flex seal and just paint the top whatever color I want. I don't know if that AC unit up there works. I haven't really had a chance to play with it. Let me see. I can probably get a better view on it. Let me see. I mean, it's all good shape. Not a whole lot of rust. I mean, there is some holes and stuff. Sorry, the screen rotates. But you can see where the, one of the companies uh, at one point it had some AC units in here. Or boxes or something that went through the floor. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna cover all that up, patch it in, weld it. I got my new muffler on. It. I'm an amateur at this YouTube stuff, so give me a break. I got a new clutch uh, I had put in. Uh, that was one of the first things I had him do. It's put a new clutch in. I've been doing all the rest of it myself. A lot of holes in the floorboard, and uh, not to worry, the frame is solid. There's no rust through the frame. I do have some stuff like that right here. Rust. But that's in a floor pan. They part of uh, when they hit this and put that bin in there, they did mess the rivets up. And so anyway, yeah, I got rust there. It's all steel. Steel's easy to weld. Anyways, I just thought I'd do another update. It's been a while since I've had anything to post. Like I said, I've got a rebuild kit for the carburetor. It's a 
uh, Rochester. Uh, let's see here, folks. In to Rochester. Anyways, it's an aluminum body uh, carve. I got points in the condenser to go inside here. I got new plug wires uh, to be able to put in. I just haven't got around to it. I've been working 12 hour shifts at the place I work and I uh, just haven't had time. Anyways, you know, I did put the new plugs on that side. It won't start right now. And I think the issue is uh, points of condenser need to be replaced. Some of the plugs were shot. And I'm sure that uh, once I get this going, it, you know, all the plugs and wires, that'll smooth out the engine. It run pretty small. It sat for so long, the, the carburetors uh, probably got some gummy muck in there. It, you know, you could smell varnish. So that's how I got the carb kit. But it was starting and running. Right now, it won't start. It almost wants to start, but then when you let it, you know, you barely let off the key, and then it just, it, it's done. It won't, it won't do it. But I'm almost positive it's points ignition or the coil. And I'll know as soon as I get the plugs and the spark, the Points of ignition all hooked up. I got a plug uh, wire tester and it'll tell me if I'm getting spark all the way down. I think, uh, you know, I've had this happen on my 63 Fairlanes, my son's car, where it would do the same thing and we thought it was a voltage regulator. We did, checked all these things and it was something so simple like points of condenser. So uh, I, it's almost the exact same issue that had. And so, but these parts are cheap and uh, they you find this stuff at AutoZone. I think I bought AC Delco uh, parts for this because it sets the old OEM Chevy, you know, uh, uh, except for the, the plug wires. I got Duralast, but uh, they're OEM and uh, meter exceed, anyways. But AC Delco is the best stuff, I think, for the internal stock stuff. Uh, so I use AC Delco for that. I've, I've had vehicles where the points and condenser didn't last, uh, but three or four weeks, you know, and then, you know, when you get the, that was a motorcraft, uh, you know, vehicle, you know, the, the Ford Fairlane. Anyways, uh, so I started buying motorcraft, never had a problem after that for the Ford. With the uh, GM, it's usually AC Delco. But all the stuff's hooked up, you know, I'm going to look for vacuum leaks. I'm going to put a vacuum gauge up my dash. Uh, that's also a good indicator of your fuel economy, you know, on a vehicle like this. Uh, I guarantee you, you don't give her a good gas, especially being a small block Chevy, but that's where I'm at. I need another boot for this. I need all kinds of things. I'm, it's just work in progress. I have till summer. This is uh, December 2018. Uh, and I'm posting this to, uh, at the time of I recorded it. So, uh, anyways, that's all I know on this. If you have any questions, give me a holler. It's a 1974 GMC value van. It's a 3500. Uh, and it, it starts runs, uh, you know, and up until it just stopped. And I'm almost positive that's just an easy the ignition these parts are cheap so i'm not too worried about it no computerized stuff to worry about anyways thanks for watching